Hey guys, RJ here, and briefly if you watched last video, you would have seen that Kanechi was going to make a return. Now for this video, this video is entitled Kanechi's Return. Return? Um, yeah, so Kanechi said that before the game that he wanted to play because he felt like he was playing well, and he's, he's fit, and he's looking forward to the game. So on them terms, I decided, hmm, yes, we shall play you. Plus he's a really good goal scorer and one of my favourite strikers. So straight into the game, he has a good, he has a good bit of play from our team. Goes over to Taylor, Taylor with an amazing cross in, puts it into Bradshaw. And I could have highlighted any of the three strikers in this video, to be honest. Obviously, um, Bradshaw got the first goal there. Kanechi grabs another one here. And in the end, Taylor grabs himself another one later. They all play brilliantly, as well as everyone else in the team, such as defenders, midfielders, goalkeeper. Everyone played really well for this game, and the team's really harmonising really, really well. I think all the players that may be coming last season, and all the players that are probably coming to this season, and season before, they're all mixing really well. And as you can see at the end of the game, we get some really, really good, really, really, really good ratings when everyone is pretty much on a 7 or above, with the front three on about 9.6, 9.7 ish on average. But they all played well. Konechi obviously grabbing a goal there on his return. The commentator at the point was going mad saying, Oh, he's scored on his return. Oh my god. I was like, Yeah. So after that game, I've been do I did something which I've been meaning to do for ages, and that is offer Win a contract. Oh, like a total retard! I didn't realise I'd only have to offer him an extra thousand, and that I'd only take a thousand out of the wage budget, and taking six thousand out. Um, but yeah, nevertheless, we went through the next game, and we happened to get a draw against Northampton. I think I wasn't really concentrating because I wanted to get through and see if Win was going to sign and everything. So we dropped two points in that game, but we did have the good news of Win signing, and that means he will be with us for the next five years on six thousand two hundred a week, which is one of my higher paid players. But then again, he is one of my better players, and with him in centre back, I feel a lot more like I've got a good back four and a lot more supporting back four than a, a game, say if I had Goldson and Osborne. I think his pace just gives an edge to the team and really gives us an extra advantage when defending. But in that game, he does defend well and we pick up the 1-0 victory. And after that game, we also receive another email. Now, this email wasn't about players that are in our team, but players that look like they could potentially be in our team. The email was about youth players, Sam Davison, Servando Watson, Sib. Boe, I believe it is pronounced. Both of them are young players, one's 16, one's 15. Sam Davis is now eligible to play for my team. He's 50 to 54 rated overall predicted and player potential 74 to 80 predicted. He's a left winger as well as Servando Watson Sibre, who's 51 to 55, 76 to 82. Both of them are really quality and both of them look a lot more promising than players such as Eva and Alsop. Even though I do like those players, they aren't the players that are as high rating as them and if you're going to start at a higher rating then you're obviously going to be a better player in general but we're coming to this game the next game and after dropping points again I wanted to secure a victory but a really promising victory after like I said we dropped the points we got the 1-0 victory which was good but we I wanted to get more goal difference on the table goal difference is really key and if you've been watching the latest Premier League season you obviously see that the goal difference could play a big part at the end of the season depending on how things go but at the time we was in the lead by a few points even though we had dropped points previous but nevertheless we went into this game and it was a really tough game Wickham played the hearts out and really shone through but with players on their team showing through so did players on mine and Kanechi scores there in the 89th minute to grab us the win he's playing phenomenally well since his comeback he is the man of the moment as people say, and he picked us up the win there. He got us an extra two points. He got us the win, which was quality. His two goals really helped us there. And with that little bit of good form, we go on to win the next two or three following games. To look into the game against Norwich, which is the FA Cup game coming up in a day or two. Come to next episode, guys, to see that game against Norwich. Thanks for watching, as always. RJ out.